Jeremy, what made you think about bringing The Exorcist to television so many years later and after so many sequels? Um, honestly, it was, it was an open writing assignment. Uh, Morgan Creek owned the rights to the original uh, William Peter Blatty novel, and they were looking to translate that to television. I heard about it. I said, you know what, the idea of, of, of a remake, the idea of telling the same story seems crazy to me. Um, you're never going to do a better job than William Friedkin did with that original film. Um, but I did see an opportunity there for telling a brand new story with a brand new set of characters um, that really tackles issues of, of faith and morality and, and, and the battle between good and evil and all these things that feel like really fertile ground for a horror show to explore. And the idea of, of kind of getting to smuggle a, a, a really smart, really compelling thriller family drama onto TV in the guise of, of, of a horror show and then to have kind of free reign to go as scary as you want because it's The Exorcist. It was really, it was irresistible. I couldn't pass it up and still live with myself. And so what's your experience with horror films and the horror genre? Is this something that you're new to or are you a big fan of horror? Um, I have Jaws tattooed on my arm. Um, I, I, I saw it when I was four years old and, and as soon as my parents sat me down and explained to me that the shark was made out of rubber um, and wasn't actually eating those people, I said, okay, well, I'll just, I'll just do that when I grow up. Like you've been trying to sell me on astronauts and firemen and everything. I'm just gonna go play with the big rubber sharks. Um, so I've, I've kind of known and what I want to be my entire life, and it's, it's thanks to horror movies. I, I saw the original Exorcist way too young, probably 12 or 13, and traumatized me from a week, for weeks. Um, so I, I got my start writing horror before I transitioned into kind of bigger studio movies, um, but it's always had a, a, huge, uh, a huge place in my heart. It's, it's always kind of my first love when it comes to writing. So, so to be able to have a show like this that marries horror with, 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 with drama and thriller aspects is really the best of both worlds for me. And how do you think the religious aspect plays in with the Catholic priests and the exorcisms? Is, do you have any experience with that or is that something that you're new to? Um, I, was, I, was, I was baptized Catholic and raised uh, Protestant, so I, I, I do have a religious background. Um, and in, in, in terms of, of the religious aspects, it's you have to treat these things with the weight that they deserve because these are, are areas that are incredibly important to audience members. They're things that people believe in. They're things that people have, have strong opinions about. And so, so it's our duty to tell the best story possible and, and to make a show that's fun and compelling for everyone. But at the same time, we, we have to be very respectful in how we're portraying areas of faith. So, so that's why we've reached out and we've, we've spoken with Catholic consultants. We've, we've brought in actual exorcists and, and talked with them off the record about some of their experiences and some of the things they've done and seen. Um, because we're really trying to ground the show in reality as, as much as we can because that's where the horror comes from. When it feels like real life, when it feels like this is something that could happen to you or this could happen to your family, um, it makes it much scarier to me.